Nighthawks All Access continues, and now my favorite segment of each episode, our Nighthawk Spotlight. And we're visiting, obviously, with someone in the world of tennis, Brian Gaskin, welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, it is, it's already been a great start to the tennis season, you know, just looking at the results. Uh, some very impressive match results already, and I know you guys are gonna be busy. Um, talk a little bit about the season as it has uh, happened to this point. Uh, well, yeah, we just got started. Um... Uh, we're four games in, I think. We've had a couple of uh, postpones and cancels because of the rain and stuff, right. which is a little frustrating. But uh, yeah, we're four in, uh, three and one, so it's an okay start. Um, yeah, and the, the team's gelling good. Um, we've seen some good, uh, good performances. Um, we go again this weekend. We got Tusculum on the road, and we got a nice looking schedule coming up. So yeah, yeah, all good. Very good. And uh, of course, Ryan is in his junior year here at North Georgia. Uh, if you could probably uh, guess by the accent, not from around here, uh, you made the jump from across the pond from England. What brought you to North Georgia? Um, well, a lot of uh, tennis players back in Europe uh, really try and get out here for for the opportunities. I mean, so the education is good and the scholarship opportunity is really good. So, I mean, that's a, ma that's a main pull, the fact that we can continue playing our sport and getting that education on the side, you know, it's an available to a lot of people. Um, the Larniger Georgia in particular, um, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, I had a few different offers from a few different places. Uh, I spoke to, to Coach on the phone a few times and uh, he showed me around the facility a little bit. I did a bit of research and uh, it just seemed like a really nice place to come and play and, and spend four years. Uh, spend four years and yeah, I mean, I've loved it so far. I love the, the atmosphere I'm living in and everything about it. So yeah, it's great. Absolutely. Now, what's it been like playing with and under Coach Norsworthy? Uh, Coach is great. Yeah, he's, uh, he's made things really easy sort of coming over. Um, I mean, De Delonig is it's pretty different to, to where I'm from. Sure. Uh, so there was a bit of a transition period getting used to my surroundings, but no, he made it really easy. Uh, the training's been great. You know, he's, he's really helped me develop my game. I can see I've made really big strides in my, in my years I've been here. So yeah, he's been, he's been really great to work with, yeah. What is it uh, like finding that balance between your um, challenges uh, from an athletic standpoint, academic, finding that, that happy medium. Talk about that. Um, I mean, to, to be honest, I struggled when I first got here. Um, the system's a little bit different uh, schooling-wise, and when I first got here my first semester, I was sort of out of it a little bit educationally, and like, you know, there was a bunch of different classes I hadn't really done before, that sort of thing, and balancing that with this also new tennis system. You know, it, it was pretty tough at first, but I mean, I mean that's when coach was really helpful as well you know he got me on board with that he made sure I was getting through my classes okay and you know gave me little tips when it was needed and I'm balancing it a lot better now and yeah now I've sort of found a nice niche with my education something I can work towards so I mean yeah coach has been a big help with that and yeah now I feel good with it. That's great let's talk a little bit uh, more about that as we were visiting before we began uh, you had shared that uh, journalism is uh, a long-term uh, goal uh, something that you have an interest in. When did you know that that was something that you might be interested in? Um, I mean, I've always been interested in sports, you know, ever since I was a little kid. I was, it's not just tennis. I'm, I'm a big fan of a lot of different sports. And um, I mean, I get it sounds simple, but I mean, I've always loved writing and, you know, the English class when I was a kid, I loved that. So, I mean, I paired them together and writing about sports seems really exciting to me. And then that whole the reporting aspect side of things, that, that sort of thing. You know, it's just, it's always seemed really interesting to me. So now, since I've been over in America, it's sort of, the the interest has developed a bit more because there's a lot of different opportunities in America in the journalism world that aren't really there in England, you know what I mean? The sports in America are a little bit bigger. Sure. And I wasn't really used to that, but it's sort of given me a lot of opportunities in that world. And yeah, now I'm just full steam ahead with the journalism and I really want to get started with it, yeah. That's fantastic. So obviously, uh, you would have a, an interest uh, from a tennis standpoint. Now you're a big soccer fan. In a perfect world, what sport or what setting would you find yourself in professionally uh, from a journalism standpoint? Uh, 
I wouldn't want to be too picky, you know. I'd, I'd like to be, I'd like to be employable, but you're flexible. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, t tennis. Obviously, I, I, I know the game. I love the game. I played it for so long. Uh, uh, soccer, as you mentioned, yeah. I mean, I've been a fan of that ever since I was a little kid, and um, and basketball as well. I do a lot of basketball writing. Right. Uh, those are probably my three main ones. I'd like to stick to. I feel like I know the best, but. Um, as you said, I'll take any sport to start up with. I'm not too. I know you're a Man U fan and Wayne Rooney, uh, one of your favorite uh, mm -hmm. professional athletes. From a tennis standpoint, who do you follow? Uh, my favorite player has always been Andy Murray. Um, I mean, obviously a big, a big part of it is he's British, you know, and he was every little kid in Britain playing tennis. He was the hero they looked up to and the fact he, you know, he won the first Grand Slam for so long and he, d he did all these things. He competed with the best. So, I mean, yeah, Murray, Murray has always been the one I looked up to. Um, I tried to base my game off him. I tried to play in a similar way. Um, Attitude-wise, attitude you know, how passionate he is, the way on court. I try to be like that, you know. So, um, yeah, Murray's always been a favorite of mine. That is great. Obviously, when we talk about tennis, uh, your game has developed tremendously in your time here at Dahlonega. Looking at your match results already this season, uh, with your wins, they've been decisive, 6-1, 6-2. Uh, talk about, from the mental standpoint, the advantage of getting up early in a match. I mean, it's huge. Yeah, it really is. Um, that's something when I first came to college, I struggled with a little bit, like sort of... I was, I've always been good in match, adjusting to the different situations, but when you first get on court and it's that initial, like, OK, do I need to do this now? Like. I, I, I always struggled sort of being calm in that right moment or aggressive in that right moment, that sort of thing. But this season I've seen a big improvement of that. Uh, a couple of the singles matches I've started really strong, got up early. And um, I don't know, I, feel, I mean, obviously I've been here for a few years, so um, I feel a bit more mature on a tennis court now. And I feel like now, once I get that lead and hold that lead, I'm able to just sort of stick it out from there and I don't sort of lapse back into to habits I would have done before. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, congratulations are in order uh, for uh, Ryan, named the 2019 ITA Southeast Region Player to Watch. You were the Nighthawk of the Week last year and also Peach Belt Conference Player of the Week. Uh, congratulations for those. Obviously, we, we tend to, to talk more about the singles competition, but doubles is a huge part of collegiate tennis. Talk about that. Um, I mean, I've always been, been comfortable on a doubles court. I've always enjoyed the prospects of playing doubles as well as singles. Um, and yeah, yeah, doubles is huge in, in college matches because, um, I mean, the system has changed a little bit ago. So now it's, we don't, uh, you're not, not scoring the whole three doubles matches. It's just whoever wins two out of three gets that one doubles point. Mm -hmm. And that sort of ramped up the importance of that first doubles point, you know, going into the singles. That slender, you know, that little slender lead. You need one less singles match to win the match. So it's, um, yeah, it's it's really huge. And uh, doubles is sometimes a, a completely different sport to the singles because you know the energy is different. There's so much more noise. It's very quick. It's just a six game. So I mean, yeah, it's it's really really big, and it's it's something we take really seriously. And then finding that synergy with your doubles partner obviously is a is a huge part of that. So that it's nothing you have to think about, you just know yeah. what's going what's to transpire. You may have mentioned a moment ago uh, finding the right spots to be a little bit more aggressive and having never, and, and my fault for never having been able to, to, uh, to witness any of the tennis competitions here, how often do you enjoy going to the net when you're playing? I like playing up at net, yeah. Okay. Whenever, whenever I can get there, I will try to. Um, I feel pretty skilled at the net, you know, I win a lot of my points there. But, um, you know, it just differs on, on the matchup you've got. I tend, to, I tend to win a lot of the matches as well at the back of the court. Um, I'm pretty fast, you know, I can get to a lot of balls. So, um, you know, if I'm playing the bigger guys hitting harder than me, then I'll sort of try and stay at the back. But if I've got the opportunity to get up to the net, yeah, I will try to, yeah. That's great. Uh, one of the interesting things in looking at uh, Ryan's bio was that uh, you listed something that uh, you might not know about yourself, and that was that uh, you've spent quite a bit of time in Spain the last four years. How did that transpire? Well, um, uh, I had a coach, uh, Dan Kiernan, um, when I from around the age of eight or nine or something, and um, 
at that point, so he coached me for a few years, and at that point he moved out to Spain with his family and started up a tennis academy. It was called Soto Tennis Academy, right down the south. And um, yeah, he went with that for a few years and it was going good. And I was, I think I'd probably just turned 14. Um, and Dan got in touch with me and said, we'd love to have you over here if you want to give it a shot. And I mean, yeah, like a 14 year old kid, you know, sort of, yeah, I'm going to jump at the chance to go and live in Spain, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I went for it and I moved out there in the, in the August of that year and I never, I never really left. I was there for probably like four and a half years and yeah. That's exciting. That is exciting. Well, as we look at this season here with the Nighthawks, obviously uh, very high aspirations for the team collectively. Talk about that and uh, when you look at the competitive nature of the Peach Belt Conference. Yeah, I mean, uh, as you know, our conference is, is very high standard, so um, we, won't not, we won't be able to take any matches off. You know, we've got to be there every match day and also every practice day. You know, it's, uh, we've been working very hard ever since August when we got our new players in and, and you know, training really started. So, um, yeah, we, we, know, we know what it takes to, we know what we're gonna have to do to beat those top teams and uh, be where we want to be at the end of the year. And uh, I feel like we started in pretty good fashion. Uh, we, got some, we got some tough matches ahead with those conference opponents later in the season. But no, I feel good. Everyone, everyone knows what it's going to take and how, how we're going to need to play to beat those guys. You know, now it's just about getting out and doing it. Well, we wish you the very best. We look forward to following the results uh, of you individually, collectively as a team. And uh, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. It is a great start that the team is off to. Uh, best wishes with the upcoming part of the schedule. Thank and thanks so much for being our Nighthawk Spotlight. No worries, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Very good. All access continues in just a moment.